Hey everybody, Mark Agnesi here for Gibson TV. And today we're coming to you from a top secret, undisclosed location somewhere deep in the San Fernando Valley of Los Angeles, California. What lies behind these walls right here is the personal gear collection of my dear friend Dave Amato. Now Dave has played with everyone from Cher to Ted Nugent, but for the last 30 years, he's been the lead guitarist in the band REO Speedwagon. What you are about to see is what happens when gas, gear acquisition syndrome, couples up with decades of success in the music business. What you're about to see may shock you. This is the collection, Dave Amato. Dave. Mark. Dave. Buddy. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, how's it going? Oh, buddy. All right. Thank you for doing this. Oh, thanks for having me. We've been talking about doing this for a long time. You've been telling me about your locker. For You, you text me random pictures of it and stuff. I bought enough stuff from you. I should, you know, yeah. show yeah. you what I got. Yeah. Can we go check it out? Oh, yeah, it's a lot show? of stuff in there, man. Lead the way. You're going to like the way. it. You're going to love it. So before we get in there and start looking around at this craziness that you've compiled over your years here. It's pretty crazy. Uh, let's talk about being a collector. Were you always, a, like a kid, did you collect baseball cards? Did you collect comic books? Or I mean... I collected Beetle, Beetle stuff because I was a Beetle nut. So yeah. Beetle, Beetle cards. So you've Beetle been a collector gun. your whole life. Yeah, a little, little bit, but, but not like these guitars. Not like guitars at all. Now, obviously, it's your tool of the trade, but is it... Is it more than just that to you, collecting oh, it's guitars a and amps? I mean, I know <laughs> I know the answer to this, but for the people, like, how much time do you spend obsessing over chasing, chasing stuff down? Every day. Every day. Almost every, like, almost every day. Now, every day. do you ever sell stuff? Are you one of those guys that, that's always trading something to get something else? Do you try to not get rid of stuff? If I you... try to not get rid of stuff, but if I really want something and it's, it's you know, it's, it's, it can be traded, you know, yeah. I, I might do that. Yeah. So this is it. This is it. Behind this door right here. That is, door. This you, is this is the collection. That's it. You want to do the honors? All right, let's do it. You want to do it? I'll let you do it. Okay, ready? Get out of here, <laughs> dude. That's it. Oh. And all the freaking marshals. It's like. It's even. It's even great. In the freaking white marshals. There's your white ones that you love. Oh, yeah. you're killing me. Yeah. Dude, it's yep. crazier than I even imagined it would be. They're the A10s. A10 cabinets. A10 cabs. And Jimi Hendrix stacks. Hendrix stacks. Yep. Six. Six Hendrix stacks. Oh my God. Yep. Well, let's uh, let's start cracking open so, some cases, so, man. Want to start digging in? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. All right. So you know I love flying V's. You know I love I Karina know. stuff. I was born in '82, '82. They did the Karina set of the V. Modern. I got it. You got an entire. You got a full set. The, the full set, right but above your can head. Can we take a look at it? They're 83s. 83s, but, but the full Karina set. Full Karina set. Can we take a look? Sure. Let's right, go. So. Okay. You want? The, you want the Karina? Ooh. I think I got this from you. So at, you, at, you very well may have. At Norms. Can we say that? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. See, we got it. At Norms. Oh, baby. There we go. 83. Killer. You ever use these live? Yeah, I use this for years. Of yeah, the of the set, do you the flying V's tend to probably be the most used? The flying V the most, yeah. I've used this the most. It's, oh, uh, it's killer. Stock. Explorer. Stock. So you got what? Tim Shaw. We got Tim Shaw PAFs in there. I, I think and, so. Yeah. yeah black yeah. card, black poker chip. What, whatever came in. I, I mean, I just left them because they sounded so good with the Marshalls. Yeah. They just, I mean, they just plugged it in and went. It's great. Look at this one. Oh, and there's the Explorer. This is mint. Absolutely mint. How long, when did you get hip to these? When did you start collecting these Karina well, guitars? I saw them on, you know, when they started uh, reissuing in, uh, what, 81? Early, yeah, early, early 80s, 81. Yeah. And, and I, uh, there was so much money at the time, like, to, to get the whole set, you know? So I just kind of pieced it together. I think I got one from Norm's with, with you. You know, you know I'm, I don't know when I got the 90s or something like that. Yeah. And then I found this one came along and just I pieced them all together. And I wanted 83s. I got, once I got the Would flying V, yeah. 83, I needed to get the more set. 83s. Yeah. yeah. So this one came along. I can't even remember where I got it, but it is, I, I didn't even play it. It's just, it's just mint. With the black and red case, which is rad. My V has a black and red oh, case. Oh, yeah, does too. it? Yeah. Some of them just have the brown look cases. At, no, or something. I mean, that's clean. It's absolutely clean. All right. So this will what? This completes the. Uh, this is the last this one I got. Completes the set. Yeah. The I looked, rarest of the. Uh, I looked for this really hard, man. Oh. Look at, oh, look at look at this. This came from Guitar Center. 
This came from Guitar Center. GC Vintage. Now, yeah. I love this guitar. Most people don't get this guitar. But what is this? I mean, you know the story this, of this guitar a little bit. This the no, I, I, I don't. Just a modern, what's it, from the 50s? This was the other design that Ted McCarty, there's this whole kind of lure of whether or not an original one was ever created. No one's really found one and all oh, this kind yeah, of I stuff. Oh, yeah, I knew that. And they did I, the reissue of it, and it's like, these are... I don't know, just to see in front. Have you ever used this on stage? No. This no. one is just to complete the set. Just to complete the set. This yeah. is only a complete just the v, set. Mostly the V, yeah. So, it says Red Flying V. I think I know what this is. I hope at least I know what this one is. Yes, I think you do know what it is. It's so cool. One Come on, baby. Back it doesn't want to open. Okay. Ready? Go. Oh, the Lonnie Mac. Lonnie Mac. With the freaking Bigsby. In the crotch. The crotch the mounted the Bigsby. The crotch Bigsby. So I wanted this oh, so dude. bad. So These bad. are so cool. I remember when these came out. Remember where you got this one? Yes. Dave's, Dave's guitar. Oh, the little lacrosse? Yeah. 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 Dave found it for me. He found it in Florida somewhere. I, and I know just, I've seen you use this on the road. Yeah, before. I did. You, you use this I, I used the Karina V and this V. You know, swap them out. And what do the Vs get used for, really? Just encore. Just it's the encore play. guitar. Yeah, 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 if you can play one last song. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody right, loves a flying rock. V. Let's rock. Oh, the encore. Loves a so, wiggle stick. So much fun. So much fun. Everybody goes, what is that? Look at that. Continuation of the flying Vs. Okay, well, the wrong way. The, the upside the, down. The backwards flying backwards. Vs. Backwards. Oh, oh yeah. The only guitar. This I got from you? Harder to play sitting That's down right. than a regular flying oh, Vs. It's, it's, the but reverse flying sounds, V. I'll tell you, it sounds amazing. Yeah. What one volume knob? It's and, it's, yeah. it's crazy how good this guitar sounds. I plugged it through my. I don't really use. It wait a minute. It's kind of. What? Uh, wait. Is it? Wait. wait. You got another one too. You got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Close that up really quick. All right, all right. This is. Oh. Yeah. Okay. What's wrong on the top? Because. Well, I have just, to have the. I mean. I have to have the set. You're gonna. You gotta have the black one the too. Black one. But you do you have the natural one? But you said, no, you're, now you're killing me. Like Wait, this, there's something you don't, like, see, natural? look, oh, there, you still, there's still stuff to go find. I gotta get a natural? We gotta no, get the natural get reverse flying no. V. Okay. I saw the black one, I love the black one. The black looks great, too. These, get, these sound so unbelievable. Did you ever use good. these? Did you ever take these out? No, I just tried it through my rig, you know, but it sounds, it sounds amazing. The guitars, it sounds Literally, amazing. Literally, how much stuff do you buy that you come home, you plug it into the rig, and then it comes in here, and you... Probably never look at it again. Does that happen? These. These will. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I'm gonna grab the. Uh, oh, got, got. Handle okay. on there. Oh. Are you shooting? Love how big this? these cases are. I know. They're Very heavy. convenient. At least the three latches. Oh yeah. Look at what the, the sticker. Look at the freaking on. sticker on the guard. Have you even played it? No, I never used it. No, <laughs> no. I just wanted it. Bought it on the road. I just wanted it. Put like it in the in the vault. Aged custom shop. So cool. Clapton, yeah. all the way. Uh, I forgot what, oh, that's the fiber? Yeah, this is the custom. The white one? The, um, do you have a white one too? Fucking. What's this one? No, I think this is the, the this, custom custom one. This is the custom custom? <laughs> I don't even know what is it is. Is it the custom custom? This is like Christmas. I was hoping I haven't seen Forget all the stuff that you Ready? bought over these. What do we got? Merry Christmas. Oh, oh yeah. No, fire, okay. Firebird custom. Yeah. Look, Has the freaking hang tags, tags and the thing on the on the guard. Dave, come on, dude. Tag, come on. Come on. With tags. With tags. <laughs> well, I, I collected all three. I collected the Flying V. Yeah. The Explorer. The Explorer. And the Firebird. And the Firebird. I, wait, here, wait, wait. Close that up really quick. All right, okay. If, if, what is it? Firebird 7. Yeah. This is like just, the Brian Jones joint right here. What color did that say? There's more than one of these two then, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. This is fun because I, oh, there it is. Oh, White Firebird 7. Never used. Wait, wait, you said there's a. I never used that. That's, uh, cu that's Custom Shop. I ordered that. This is another one? Yeah, it's a Sunburst. That's a, that's a, I used that one. That's USA, but I ordered a, a White Custom. Wait, close that custom, really quick. Let me see what's in this. I did from the Custom Shop. That should be the Sunburst, I think. Yeah. We're getting high now. Yeah. High up the. Oh, yes, man. the Sunburst. Sunburst is Fiber 7. This is the uh, USA one. That's USA, did. yeah. Yeah, with the That was my parts. first one. Yeah. And I loved it so much. And I ordered a custom, white custom at the custom shop. This one's been out. This one's seen some dates. That though. one, yeah. That's, uh, I got that in the 90s or something. The other thing that I always see you play 
is you're a fan of double neck guitars. I love, what, what, where love is your infatuation with double neck start? Is it a Page thing? Is it a Felder thing? I like Felder. Felder's a good friend of mine. Yeah. Yeah. I, lo I love the white flying Vs or, well, I mean, uh, I mean, Explorers or, or you know, uh, the white color and, and Felder's was white. Uh, double neck just kill me. Yeah. I had to have a Felder. But this is, this is a prototype that the custom shop built me special. I, I didn't even know it existed. I don't know if they made it. Um, I just uh, they try to maybe make a model out of it or something, but it's it's well you'll see. Let's, let's, let's just take a look at let's it. Let's just open it up. You'll you'll see. The color was just ridiculous. And there it is. Whoa! It's like matte. It's smoke. It's smoke gray. And then they even um, did the the uh, logos, the Gibson logo in smoke too. Oh wow! With tags. Of course. <laughs> It's never been played. Never been played. It's never been played. <laughs> Don't look at it. <laughs> Custom. Custom. Oh, dude. Yeah, just beautiful. I, I'm a fan, like I said, I'm a fan of white guitars. Felder. Um, I met him on a on a cruise ship. We did a, we did a thing with him. Yeah. And then he asked me to play Hotel California with him. For, and, I, and I went on tour with him, and I did 50 shows playing Hotel California. I remember California. you. I got to see this thing. Just, I remember I mean, you sending me video one Sunday morning. as was you. Sitting on all the way out on the on the on the catwalk out front when you and Felder doing the Felder, solo. John Felder. How cool is that? It was. It's it's the best thing ever. And how cool is this? And this man? is a Felder. This is the Hotel uh, California I, model yeah, that and, we and did. And it is a spectacular double neck. Well, this one's probably seen a lot of road use if it's got the road case. This one, yeah. Yeah, let's see what. This one I played. Yeah, it's such a good. Jimmy Page. Jimmy Page, anyone? Yeah, I mean it doesn't have the long. You know, Jimmy oh. was longer here. Well, on, dude. But, you got to get the Jimmy Page one, too. Oh, you're killing me. You're killing me, Dave. No, it's close. <laughs> this is close enough. That's fine. And I use this one live. It's it's amazing guitar. Another custom shop. I think this was in Memphis. I think this got made in Memphis. Memphis ones? Yeah, in Memphis. Yeah. This one here, this is not an original burst, but this is what... This is, well, why don't we crack it's, it open? It's, a, we'll it's take the a closest look. thing you can come to, a, you know, a burst. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's a 52 gold So this top. is a conversion Les Paul. Right. So what for people who don't understand what the conversion are, what, what, what is a conversion? It's, it's a, a, 50, a real 50s guitar. Um, uh, it's a 52. So this started as top. a 52 gold top. Yes. And they, so this would have had trapeze bridge. We, we looked at your 52. Right. P90s, the trapeze. Right. And they, they, they take it all up and they strip the paint down. And this luckily wasn't retopped because you can see the underneath a lot of the gold tops and nice maple. This has got a nice figure. Yeah. On beautiful. It. So we, they left it and, um, you know, they converted it to put the PAFs, PAFs in, stop tail in the tunematic. Right. So basically you're buying old wood and old parts, but it's just not an original. It's the closest thing you can yeah. come to a, to a late fifties. Uh, uh, burst. Yeah. And it's, it sounds great. I mean, real, Real PAF, so I mean, and the and 59 wiring, the harnesses, the all harness, everything's they, original. Know, yeah, so they switch it to um, essentially it it is a, a 59 burst. Yeah, I mean it sounds it sounds as good I think. So, wow, you know, for people out there, and and it it cost you way less than yeah. Now than, is this something that you would take out? Would you use this? Or are you are you just going to take out the your custom shop I, I would take out the custom shop ones and, and save this one because it's, 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 it's going up in value all the time because it's, yeah. you know, you, I mean, if you, you want to get this or, or you know, or four, spend three or $400,000, you know, this, this is a bargain. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, like, right towards the end of my retail career selling guitars, <laughs> I got in a 12-string gold top Les Paul. It right. was mint. I'm like, mint. Dave Model's gonna want this guitar. I take a picture of it, I send it to you, and like three seconds later, my phone dings with another picture, and it's this. I, I have you had already. not only did you have the gold top 12 string Les Paul, you also had the black one, and you also had That's the right. Heritage Cherry yeah, one. I know. I got the Sunburst uh, first from the uh, from USA. Uh, they had a leftover one. That's how I started. I'm like, I want a 12-string Les Paul so bad. Once I start on something, now, now you now you got to get that reverse. Now that you got to get the reverse. reverse you know, you're killing me. me. You're killing me. Once I start on something, I got to have more of them. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. Flame Coa Top. Is that a 59 reissue with the Flame Coa Top? Yes. Flame Coa Top and, and, and Karina Back. And a Stinger. Yes. Ah. Uh. Karina Back. I, I, I called every day. I said, I want this guitar. They said, we can't sell it to you. 
And I said, oh, please, tell it to me. And they said, what is the problem with this? It had a little knot in the wood. In the wood. Can and you gonna... see it right here? This right here. That had a little knot. I said, that's OK. That's cool. But they said, well, we have to smooth that out before we sell it to you. We can, now we can sell it to you. We have to smooth that out. So I said, OK, I'll wait. So it took me like a month or something. So they, they smoothed that out for me, and I bought the thing. But it's so cool. Karina top with a Koa I mean, top I mean, with Karina. Karina back. Yeah. Wow. Killer. Yeah. So what's this here? This is a 59 or 60. Gotcha. <laughs> I don't, can't remember. Oh, with the Bigsby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it? Let's pull custom. Let's see. What is it? 59 or 60? I can't. I, 59? Yeah, 59. 59. 59. I like that even better. Free pickup custom. <laughs> I can't remember. Refretted. It actually has got some big frets on yeah, there. Yeah, Not the that's fretless, okay. It frets. Right. Yeah, it's more of the play. Yeah. Waffle I mean, you can't, you, can't, you can't beat these. I mean... Now, do you ever take this stuff out on the road, or is this just too too much of an insurance liability and hassle and all that kind of stuff? I, I, I don't. I play the custom shop ones because they play so, so good, and, and I I just keep these, you know. These are just for at, you. At home. Yeah. yeah. And I'm glad. Interference guitarist these days. You know, when you, when you do something on television, you break. Yeah. You know, if you're in town yeah, if you're in and it's studio, some, yeah. Yeah, if you do something on TV or, or in the studio. Yeah, you know, yeah, studio, yeah. I'll bring, bring them in, for sure. Out, bring a, the real a bunch PAFs of them in the there. studio, yeah. Because no. they sound so good, but I'd hate to get them stolen or, yeah, yeah, or wrecked or, you know. Now, dude, whatever. I have probably sold you at least 10 Les Paul Juniors, and I don't see any Les Paul Juniors on the rack. Is there more stuff that I'm not... Oh, oh yeah, this is the whole trunk full, plus some on, on oh, These are the touring... The touring trunks have guitars in them that those, aren't up here? Those are just storage trunks. These are storage <laughs> trunks. <laughs> So this one's got a 54 Strat, a, a, a 58 Strat, and two lap steels in it? But this, yeah, I, I think, if this is correct, yeah, right? Okay. But I think um, <laughs> there is a trunk worth of uh, uh, juniors. It's loaded with juniors. Okay? You ready? I'm not even sure what, what's in here. Oh, dude. TV White. Is that Les Paul SG Junior. SG Junior, yeah. TV White, Les Paul SG Special. That's 64 the, SG standard. I just got that last year. That's a triple. That's a 62 triple. Can we pull them out? Sure. Let's have an SG party. Okay. Dave, that's a lot of white SGs right there. I know. I know. I, I, I told you, I said before, I like, I really like white. Yeah. So we got oh, wait, the TV white. 63. 63 SG Junior. Yep. TV white. 60, oh, yeah. six, two 63s. Are these Polaris white? Or t it's called TV, but it's Polar Polaris. Polaris white, yeah. Pol I think. Polaris White. And then the three pickup. 62. 62, those PAFs? Yes. <laughs> three PAFs. Yeah. Sideways wiggle stick. Small Mint. guard. All stock. All stock. Oh, man. Still fretless wonder frets. When, when I collect, if I get a, a junior, I want the special to match. I have to well, get obviously. the special to match. So you have these in red, too? Oh, I've sold you probably three or four red. I have red. the red ones, too. Yes. I do have red. Yes. All right, we're going to have to get in here, too. Okay. What do we got in here? 56 we, TV Special, we, TV Junior. You know, we're fans of alligator cases. Oh, we like croc cases. Croc cases. We love croc cases. And Les Paul Junior with a Bigsby? Yes. Oh, Should we, you yeah, yeah, want to yeah, go? Yeah, yeah. yeah I like you want to do it? it? Let's do it. All right. I got to see this. I haven't been in this case in years. Let me, let me just say that. I haven't been in this case, how many years? 10 years? 10 years. 10 years? 10 years. You, where should we go? Yeah, back out in the hallway. Okay. Let's have a Les Paul Jr. party. Oh, there you go. dude, look at that. See, I got, I always get the special and the junior to get at one of these. Got a match. Yeah. But this obviously had it's a got a match. Bigsby. I had a Bigsby, but that's so cool. With the, yeah, with the proper <laughs> yeah. uh, tail feet. Yeah, all stock. Sick. So. And you got SG see. Juniors. Yeah, they, those yeah. are a diamond. You got. Yeah, you got SG Juniors. You got 10, 15 of those. I don't even know what's in there. You have a lot of juniors. Do they sound? Do, do you notice the P90 changing uh, in tone, is, is or is it just you like it because it's the first year? I, I like it because it's the first year, but they do, as you know, they all sound different. Yeah. It doesn't matter. You have the same color, but whatever windings or, or whatever, you know, the, yeah. maybe the neck. How is much a somebody thicker. sweat on it every yeah, night? The, the magnets, what the magnets yeah, got yeah, left I mean, in them. They, they all. That's. How come everybody gets a you know a bunch of guitars because you could have the same that those are almost almost identical right but they don't sound the same 
It just that's just the next serial number off the rack could be a totally different exactly. Totally you know, different. Maybe guitar. a thicker the guy sanded a thicker you know yeah. left a thicker neck and just you know Something. puts a different different tone on it. Oh, dude, there it is. Now that's full. Okay, mm -hmm. I know I work for Gibson now, but I fifty eight Desert Sand Strat and fifty Broadcaster. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't look at that. <laughs> Get out of there. Can we pull some of these out? I see some Fender guitars here. All right, Tweed Case. We're gonna, we're gonna go Fenders? Yeah, I see some Fenders couple, couple too. Of, couple of Fenders, couple of... Oh, Broadcaster. Broadcaster, yep. Man, how long have you had this? Long time. Again, first year. It's your first year thing. <laughs> what's the, um, what's the number 20 on? years, I don't know, 20 years. One, five, six, flat pull. Now this has been refinished. Yeah, just re the body, body refin. Um, oh. By by Fe by the custom shop. Oh yeah, Fender. Yeah, did it. I sent it. I sent it custom. I think it was spray Fine painted back. white when it got it. <laughs> it was oh off. man. Spray painted white, and uh, my buddy at the custom shop um, did it right. Man, but still, cool. I mean, it's su such a desirable car. It's all it's all stock except for the. Yeah, flat poles, flat head screws everywhere. Yeah. And yeah. Cool. All right. First year. This thing sounded intriguing. First year. Should I leave this open? Yeah, why not? Let's peek in this one. What's this? I have, Mark, I haven't seen this stuff in decades. Oh, Desert come. sand. Come on. That's like, uh, yeah. I've used Music this, Master, Desert I've Sand. I've used this in the studio through a Marshall 100 watt Plexi. It's amazing. Amazing. Stock. Okay. We got 64. Oh, clay dots. Spaghetti logo. Yep. Real green guard. I yeah. love, we love how that. They look great in white. <laughs> with the green guard. It's I love awesome. that. Yep. And this, this had me intrigued too. This can't be original color. This has to be a refin, but still, it just, oh. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a refin, but it's all there. Salmon pink. Yep. Um, I got some of these guitars so long ago, it was spray paint red, right? It was an ugly, ugly Animal spray paint. Animal dye red. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and we had to make it red because it bled through the, through the wood. So I came up with, I said, well, let's do it coral pink. So I sent, it, I sent all these things to the Fender Custom Shop, and they, and they did it up, man. They did a good, great job. Very Hank Marvin. Yeah. But otherwise, and I, I played this live. I used to this, play this, this kind of stuff you take out. Yeah, yeah, these these refins, I'll take out. But even now they're getting more and more expensive. It's you know. Yeah. But I I used to play this one a bunch, and it sounded amazing. Some beaters. Be this is a beater. This yeah. is a beater. An expensive yeah. beater now. Yeah. It wasn't then. Let's go buy some beaters. This is these are beaters. These are the be my beaters. Yeah. Hey Dave, I mean, when you were growing up, like, how big of a deal were the Beatles to you? Like, what I mean. The, the, do you remember? Do you remember like yeah, watching six, beat like? 64. Did you see Ed Sullivan? Oh like, yeah, I watched it. How old? How old were you when like the Beatles were on Sullivan? I think I was eleven. Were you already playing at that point? Oh yeah, I started when I was eight. So, so you was had playing, already been playing guitar. I was playing for three years. Yeah. How did everything change after you saw I, the, I the Beatles on Ed Sullivan? Grow my hair. I want to start a band. You know, be in a band and do that. What they were doing. Yeah. You know, and just. Just, it was unbelievable. It changed my life. So obviously, my life. you collect all the Beatle guitars. I saw the country gent, the George stuff. This is obviously the John Lennon stuff. Yeah. I you guess. don't see many of the 12 strings, man. No, no. 325, 12. It took me 10 years to collect that. I know John in 64 had one spear guitar, and it's in some pictures too. He had a spear. He had a six. He had this one, I think, or maybe that's, a, this is his first one. So this is like 50s. Yeah. Oh, and, with the gold, with the gold, with the gold guards and the Bigsby. Yeah. And then '64, uh, they that's, gave him that one. That's like the Ed Sullivan one. Yeah. Right? Uh, no, the Ed Sullivan's that one. That one. That one. And they, they the when he was guards. on tour, they gave him Rickenbacker gave him that one, and then they gave him a spare, which was the the 325 12, which is impossible to play. It's it's ridiculous. Yeah. There's no room at the nut, and yeah. and, and had, all the strings have to share saddles. Right. At least it's not short scale. No. Oh had, shit! It's it short is, scale it is, too. It is short scale. Oh, yeah. Mod on. Yeah. They reissued. Uh, I think. I'm not sure the figure. 21 of these, and most of them went to Japan. And and the rep. I got this off one of the rep, 
reps that they only kept seven in the states and that's you one, got of one of them it took me 10 years to find that guitar i knew it was out there somewhere and i found it at a texas guitar show do you I ever thought, play this stuff or is this like uh this is more for the love of the this of is the my collection. For love the, like home you know like yeah. just take it home and go oh and sit on God, and you play know? beatles songs i mean this is this is this is john lennon you know Th there's one other one i gotta get because before this one he, There's you know, a fire painted, glow with yes. the F hole too, yeah, yeah, the Rose Morris one. Right, that's true too, yeah. But he had this first one was it didn't have any paint on it, so it was it didn't have any paint. <laughs> and he had the um, I forgot what they call it, Tremolo, the Rickenbacker the Tremolo. Accent, accent yeah, the accent, yeah, yeah. So uh, and I know that Rickenbacker reissues that one. I might get that one, so I could have. It went from that step to that to that, and then he had a spare one too. <laughs> I mean, you might as well get it. There's not much else. That, You're always giving you know? me ideas. I might as well get that too. <laughs> Jesus. Right. Just, I don't know if this was good or bad for me, this whole thing. No, it's great. It's great. I'm having a great time. We've been here all day, and I feel like we've barely touched the surface. But There's more. I've had a lot of fun. Oh, me too. Dude, me I, too. I love you. Thank Thanks, you for Bob. doing this. I love You're, you always, too, man. You're one of the good ones, my Thanks. dear friend. Dave Amato, check him out on tour this summer with REO Speedwagon. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, everybody. It's crazy. Oh, <laughs>